Dude accuses Uber of pulling a bait and switch, not with passengers, but with its drivers. KPI X5 Susie Steinle here with new pricing policy that has some of them crying foul, Susie. Well, Alan, rideshare companies like Uber and Lyft were originally developed to cut out corporate runaround. The transaction is meant to be between a passenger and a driver. Well, an L.A. law firm claims Uber maliciously and deliberately broke this system by ripping off drivers and secretly taking money from passengers. They're being egregious. They're double dipping. Yes. Meet the latest legal team trying to take down Uber. Bobby Sadian and Daniel Miller's LA law firm filed a class action lawsuit against the rideshare company for its pricing system released last year. Here's how it works. As a passenger, I would agree to a fair amount to get from point A to point B. Let's say it's $25. Uber shows the passenger a route costing $25. On the driver's app, the driver gets a quote from Uber showing a different, less expensive, more direct route. The driver takes home only the money earned for miles driven, not the higher amount of money the passenger paid for. And that's on top of the 20 to 25 percent cut Uber already takes off the fare. Uber is systematically overcharging and underpaying and pocketing the difference. Uber doesn't deny this. In a statement released today, it said, we price routes differently based on our understanding of riders' choices. Riders will always know the cost of a trip before requesting a ride, and drivers will earn consistently for the work they perform with full transparency into what a rider pays and what Uber makes on every trip. Friday, Uber agreed to be transparent about the pricing system so drivers can see Uber's take. This is a competitive play by Uber. To, Christian uh, Perea just wishes they'd done it sooner. He's been an Uber driver for four years and blogs about the industry. He thinks Uber owes him money and that the company is going against what Rideshare was meant to be about. You know, at the end of the day, the, year, the ride I would give you would help pay my rent or do this or that. And the money kind of stays among people. Uh, but now uh, it just seems uh, much different. It's also worth noting that Lyft has not come forward promising to be transparent with how much money it takes from each ride. Drivers like Christian say now is the time for Lyft to come forward too. Susie Steinle, KPI. This is alert for ya. Uber shelling out big bucks over a massive data breach that hit millions of users. Tracy Carrasco from our sister network, Fox Business, here with more on how the ride-sharing app plans to make itself more secure. Now, Tracy, this is concerning. I use Uber a lot. Uh, yes, that's right. Now, this data breach happened back in 2016. You'll remember that hackers got in and stole the personal information, driver's license numbers, emails, addresses, phone numbers of millions of Uber users. Well, Uber did not disclose this for about a year, and now they are having to pay up the settlement what, uh, $148 million. Uh, now, this includes all 50 states, including the District of Columbia. This is the biggest data breach payout in history. Uh, now, the settlement will be distributed to the states. It will not go directly to the affected users. Uh, but with this settlement, Uber did agree to make their service more safe, to put things in place uh, to make sure this does not happen again. All right, don't want that to happen. But let's talk about McDonald's and burgers.